Hey what's going on guys, it's Trippy and today I'm back here with another Black Ops 3 commentary and today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks on Yemen. Um, I'm sorry that my uh, that my last tips and tricks wasn't that great, um, or I didn't think it was that great in my opinion, because I was talking really fast, and uh, the reason for that was because I was uh, I did something stupid with my editing, I wasn't making the clips long enough um, beforehand when I was editing, so uh, I had to talk really fast to uh, to kind of get my uh, what I need to say and to fit it into the clips. Um, but yeah, anyway, the the first thing I'm showing you guys on this map are gonna be some uh, spawn throwing knives on domination, and then I'll be showing you guys some th some throwing knives on a uh, first search and destroy spots. Um, for this back one, which you or for this first one, which you want to do on a side is you want to back up into this corner, and you want to uh, go ahead and align your bottom crosshair with uh, with this one right here. Or, or as you guys will see, there's like a there's like a um, what do you call it? Or a uh, antenna. And you'll see there's like a bunch of like little like sticks pin, uh, pointing off it. The first, uh, the, you want to align your bottom crosshair with the third one. I kind of go off to the left a little bit, um, and kind of. And then what you want to do is kind of uh, take out your ballistic knife, and you want to uh, uh, just shoot your ballistic knife, and it should land in that general uh, vicinity of C. It won't land right on top of it. It will land in that in that uh, in, a, uh, in a certain area over there. Uh, but it will hit somebody who, for everybody who's going to be running towards the uh, the C flag in the very beginning. Um, uh, but uh, the next thing we'll be showing you guys on a side that's going to be going over to C is what you want to do is climb on top of these barrels and align your crosshairs with the uh, the third spade on top of the church. So we one, two, three, and you want to uh, align your bottom crosshair with uh, kind of um, to, to the left of the spade and kind of above it. Um, and then you can throw your throwing knife and again it will land in that general vicinity of C. Um, again, I don't think it'll land right on top of it, but it'll land in that general area. It, it'll land uh, kind of in that little circle area. The next one knife I want to show you guys uh, is going to be going from C to A. And what you want to do is uh, climb on top of these cinder blocks right here, and you want to go into this corner, and you want to look straight up and uh, and look and uh, align your bottom cross here with the with the middle of the A symbol, uh, as you see down below the little green A symbol. You want to align your crosshairs into the middle of that of that symbol, and you want to throw your throwing knife. And I really like them because it actually lands right on top of A by actually bouncing off the top of the church and uh, and, and landing on top of it. And I really like that because um, it, it just kind of looks nice in the kill cam, and it's really hard to find uh, uh, some good kill cam uh, throwing knives in this map because just because. Um, there's so many high buildings. Um, and this next one over here I want to show you guys is going to be a C to B one, which is a really nice for uh, for domination because that is basically where all the uh, the action is going to be happening on this map for domination, right on B. That's where a lot of the um, the gunfights will be going down. So what you want to do is kind of go um, not on this corner. You want to go to this side of the wall, and you want to make sure you are crouching, and uh, you want to align your bottom crosshair uh, with the solar panel right here. And um, kind of go not not in the middle of the solar panel, just kind of like um, right, kind of uh, in like a third or three fourths of the way up of the solar panel. Kind of go off, kind of graze the side uh, uh, of it, and you want to throw your throwing knife. And um, what's really cool about this is actually it actually bounces off a wall and it comes back and lands right on top of B. Um, and this is great for because, like I said before, it'll land on B, and that's where uh, most of the firefights will be going down. All right. So next thing I'll be showing you guys is actually gonna be some search and destroy plant spots. So these are basically gonna be um, uh, throwing knife spots that you will um, uh, want to throw. There are there are some great spots that you will be able to throw, uh, throw a throwing knife and actually uh, have it land on um, where the bomb is. And I would you recommend for um, for for when you do these kind of these type of throwing knife uh, uh, things is what you want to do is actually kind of get a tactical insertion, and you want to. Uh, basically uh, put the attack insertion exactly where you're going to be hitting the uh, or planting the bomb so when you run away um, the uh, the person in the game will tell you when somebody has destroyed your attack insertion because they have to destroy it uh, in order to uh, defuse the bomb so you'll know when to throw uh, the throwing knife you guys know what I mean um, so basically once you've planted over a what you want to do is kind of wedge yourself in between or not wedge yourself just kind of get in between these barrels and the pallet and you want to uh, actually align your crosshairs with the uh, with the center of the um, of the A symbol, and you want to throw your throwing knife, and it should land somewhere in that general vicinity. Um, you guys want to actually test this out yourself and kind of see where the throwing knife will land, um, and you want to see where exactly you're going to want to plant um, the bomb so the uh, the throwing knife will actually land on top of the person. All right, next thing I'm going to be showing you guys, or actually I'm going to be showing you guys another A bomb uh, throwing knife. Um, so this time I'm actually, I'm actually going to show you guys where exactly you're, you're going to want to plant this thing, um, so you guys will know and you'll be able to hit this every time. Um, again, you want to place down your attack insertion. I don't have one right now, but what you're gonna want to do is kind of set your uh, put your bomb kind of uh, kind of right here um, on this side of the uh, of the uh, of the bomb, and you're gonna want to go back over here, um, back to your spawn, and you're gonna want to climb on top of 
um, these pallet things. If I can, all right. Would you actually want to go over to uh, uh, to this rock right here? Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like an odd shaped rock. It's kind of like shapes like a heart. You want to kind of wedge yourself in between there. Um, throw like uh, line your crosshairs uh, to the middle of the uh, of the a uh, bomb or the bomb symbol and uh, look straight up and throw your throwing knife and it will land in that general vicinity again. The next one I'll be showing you guys is going to be a uh, it's going to be on B. What you're going to want to do is kind of is plant the bomb kind of in the middle of, uh, of, the, of on your side of the bomb and you want to run back uh, kind of where I showed you guys before. Um, on accident, uh, what you want to do is kind of go back in your spawn and um, run through this little tunnel thing. And if I can get here fast enough, um, kind of jump over here and kind of uh, go on the ledge of this. Uh, and you kind of want to uh, make it so you can barely see the edge of the uh, of the little pole thing you're standing on, and kind of align where the crosshairs of your ballistic knife or whatever um, in the same area where the uh, where the waves start to form. And you want to again pull out your uh, uh, your sniper. And you want to align your bottom crosshairs of the of this of the uh, the B so, uh, B bomb symbol, and you want to throw your throwing knife and it should land again in that general vicinity of the bomb. Um, it, it might bounce off. I think it usually it bounces off the ground first uh, to uh, before it actually hits the bomb. All right, you guys. Next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be um, some search and destroy uh, spots when you're playing defense on uh, search and destroy for uh, for Yemen. Um, the first spot I want to be showing you guys is uh, the, for all these. You're gonna um, or almost all these. You're gonna want to have uh, make sure you have turtle beaches or at least you have your. Uh, if you don't have turtle beaches, uh, turn your game volume all the way up so you can hear when it when they um, start to. Uh, plant them on. What you want to do is kind of uh, crouch in this or lay down or prone out in this corner. Um, if you want to, you can hold a concussion grenade because it kind of makes you kind of blend in with your surroundings. And when you hear them start to plant, um, you can go and you can get the uh, the bomb defuse. And the um, there's two other ones right here. Um, the same one. Uh, this one you can actually just look straight at the bomb. And what you want to do is you can actually um, throw, hold a throwing knife in your hand. So if the, so if somebody does actually see, you can react quickly and throw a throwing knife at them. And so uh, give, uh, shooting and giving away your position. And the last one I want to show you guys is actually uh, first you want to make sure that these uh, these barrels are blown up. And um, which, uh, sorry, because uh, that will kind of attract people. But you can lay down in, the, in these bushes and you can uh, uh, hold your concussion grenade and uh, make it kind of more uh, blend in more with your surroundings. Now I kind of like B better just because of uh, the it, it ha you can hide better. Um, the first one I'll show you guys is actually uh, not that uh, not that great. Um, it, you're really open when people come from this or when they come from your spawn. Um, you can kind of crouch and uh, you can uh, prone out uh, right here and you can uh, hold your concussion grenade. Um, and uh, you'll kind of blend in, but not really. Um, but what I what I tend to do is actually is I wait right here, and um, what I'll do is I'll go crouch or lay down right here, and I'll watch the entrance to this. Um, and if you have turtle beaches or if you have your sound turned up all the way, you'll be able to hear uh, right through the wall when they start to plant the bombs. So you can run around um, and lay down to get that ninja defuse. Um, and there are a couple more, uh, or right here, I'll show you guys, if you rush towards their spawn, you'll blend in with the shadows if you run, if you kind of, uh, run out right here, if I can get a spot right, uh, there we go. Um, people kind of run up from here, um, fr uh, from the church window, they won't actually see you because what they're, they're not going to be looking down below the whole time. If you have, if you guys have cold-blooded, I think, uh, they won't see your name when they, when they look at you. So, uh, they'll just kind of run right past you and they'll go in and, uh, plant the bomb and then you can get that, that easy ninja defuse. All right, you guys. Welcome to the uh, the main portion of of this commentary for his tips and tricks. Um, I, I, the first thing I do want to say is that you want to be uh, for Yemen. It is absolutely essential if you want to play, if you want to get your high score of streaks um, it, uh, to uh, play really really aggressively and rush. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys some spawn routes and uh, or, or some uh, some uh, routes you can take to get some high, some high kill streaks and so just some tips uh, basically to uh, uh, to basically get you know, to your high kill streaks. So I'm gonna be showing. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna be showing you guys basically what you want to do uh, for. Or I'm gonna show you guys one route. Uh, basically, what you want to do is if you're spawned on a side, what you want to do is kind of go. Um, you can camp these barrels, um, which I do not. I do not uh, uh, think you guys should do that. Uh, actually, um, because you'll actually get shot right here. Sorry, I kind of had to think about that for a second. Yeah, you don't want. You don't want to get because you'll get shot right here. That's what people uh, look. What you want to do is go a uh, sprint. Uh, make sure you guys kind of uh, stay to the side. Sprint all the way to B. And what you guys want to do is actually wait a couple seconds to the C4, throw your C4 right here, and if you wait a couple seconds, um, you'll get a kill because people will almost always run uh, a kind of rush B. Um, they usually always come this way or through that way. Um, and also, you do want to keep an eye on carpet room. Uh, this is a carpet room, by the way. 
um, it, because uh, people do kind of go up there um, at first. And um, it, uh, you want to stay right here when you're capturing B because um, people tend to go up there and sometimes they'll actually just kind of uh, run down and just uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, just fall right in front of you right there. Um, and after that, what you want to do is if you have a second C4, you're going to want to go and um, uh, throw another C4 right there. Um, and then they get maybe get a couple kills right here if you don't die. And then what you're going to do is actually they're uh, they're all going to be funneling all out of the spawn either right here, right here, or right here. Um, th they might run behind you, but if you kill the people from um, right there, then you, they probably won't, will not be out behind you. So they're mostly all going to be funneling out right in this general area, and you can get a bunch of kills. Um, jump off, run through a spawn. I wouldn't suggest that you guys capture C because you don't want to switch the spawns yet. Um, kind of run through this area, uh, kind of go into this room right here that overwatches the middle, uh, the middle of B. Um, uh, kind of get some people who are picking out or pick off some people in here. Um, and then uh, what you want to do is kind of run in here, and you can go in the carpet room, and you can Overwatch B, and you can get a bunch of kills here. Um, that is the, uh, the 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 first thing that almost always do on Yemen when I spawn on the A side. Um, another uh, good thing to do is actually instead of uh, going straight to B, you can act. What you can actually do is uh, when you go to A, you can kind of run around. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because it'll take uh, uh, forever to, to do it again. Um, but you can run around through here and then go um, go through these arcs, and you can uh, throw a C4 or a, or a bomb or something like that, and you can. Uh, because people will always be on B, um, and also make sure that when you capture B, um, you are right. Uh, make sure you're you're right here. And if you want to, uh, you do, just to play it safe, make sure you have a couple of teammates with you when you do that. Now let me talk to you guys about um, some classes uh, for this. Basically, the class that you want to have set up is basically. You, you, I really suggest that you guys have have a. Uh, um, have, a, have an SMG because uh, SMGs are really great for playing aggressively and, and, and rushing because they're really great um, at, at close range and and, and uh, far range. Um, and what I do suggest you guys have an SMG is either FMJ um, and uh, and laser sight or uh, fast hand laser sight because um, having la laser sight is almost absolutely essential because uh, you don't want to have to always hit fire and that's the thing that I always see people doing. They always uh, uh, people, when people get into gunfights, they always the first thing you do is they aim down their sights. You don't want to do that. When you get into gunfight, uh, you you want to you want to spray from the hip first. People always say, "Oh yeah, you're just praying and spraying." That's that doesn't matter. If you want to win a gunfight almost all the time at close range, you want to hit fire before you start aiming down. Just the shoot, uh, when, the first trigger you should press when you first see somebody uh, should be the right trigger. Um, and uh, to get on with this, uh, make sure you guys do have dexterity and lightweight on. Um, uh, dexterity is great because uh, uh, you can um, aim down your sights faster after you've gotten uh, got done sprinting. And um, the reason why I do say that you should play aggressively on this map is because um, th there's so many buildings. Uh, if you play if you play defensively um, and you let people come to you, you're going to lose almost every time because people are going to be camping in buildings. Um, and if you just kind of rush in on them, people aren't really expecting you to. Or they're not always watching at the doorways to enter the buildings. Um, you you really want to play aggressively and run into the buildings really quickly and, and pick off those kills before they um, before they be, they kill your teammates um, and, and uh, get them the kills. Um, and I do know that there's uh, this map is almost designed perfectly to have almost there's always an alternative way um, to get from uh, from one side to the other, to the other or, or another way to get into a, uh, to a building. So you can't you really can get uh, there's always a different way to get into a building if somebody is going to be watching a window or a um, or a doorway. And that is why um, I, I do suggest playing uh, aggressive, like I said before, because you can uh, just run in and pick off those kills really quick um, when they're not expecting it. Before I head out of here, I do want to show you guys the spawn route for C because I kind of forgot that before. What you want to do is, is you're going to want to, uh, um, what you can actually do is, is run over here and uh, you can sprint all the way to uh, um, to the top of this room. You can throw your C4 down or your grenade down for people who are going to be rushing to B and you, uh, you, probably, you can probably get, pick off a kill or two over there. And if you don't do that, what you can actually do is um, uh, sprint all the way to the arcs um, over here, uh, if I can get here quick enough. And what you can actually do is get through these arcs and you can throw your C4 um, and get a couple of kills maybe. And like I said before, if you have a couple of teammates on the flag, you can go ahead and try to capture B or something like that. Make sure you do, you're kind of on this like little carpet box thing because it, it's a really nice head glitch. And pretty much uh, from here, it's like it's kind of up to you. You can either, you can either go back, or you can play stupid and run up through the middle up to their spawn. Or you can climb up through these rocks and kind of go through the uh, the church and kind of pick off the people who are uh, funneling through this area of their spawn. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for this uh, tips and tricks. I hope you guys like this, and if you guys uh, do, please leave a like or a like rating, um, and leave some feedback maybe because uh, I want to do that's, that's kind of what I want to do with my channel. I want to do some tips and tricks. Uh, maybe do some uh, future montages in the, or mini montages in the future when I get better to editing. Um, so yeah, if you guys do like this, leave some positive, positive feedback, maybe subscribe, 
um, that really helps me out a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.